the love test is the reason why they invited you all to the palace. Yes, yeah, so oh, okay. that was the reason. But thank God that we have done it. Ah, uh ah, -uh, let everybody rest. Everywhere, every time, every day, children of the drunk, children of the drunk, children of the drunk. Let me see how possible it is that my mother was lying against the king. Let me see. The result will be out, right? I'm waiting. Nah, you see, you see, you see this issue, eh? I will not rest though. I will not rest until the result comes out. Eh? It's a, it's a good thing that the king invited the doctor to run the test himself. And let, let them see for themselves now. How can you be in car? Mm. Well, even if it is the king or not the king, huh, my life will not change. No joy since childhood till now. Trouble here and there. Mm. Well, let's wait for the results. Bye-bye. Is anybody home? Yes. Hey, I'm over. Uh, hey, How are you? I'm fine. Sit down. Thank you. What about your brother? Um, he's not around. He went to our car to get something. Oh, okay. Um, I learned the both of you were at the palace yesterday and some test was conducted. Yes, we were. But how did you know? Do you now live in the palace? No, your brother told me. Oh, okay. At least I am happy the test was done. And as soon as the test result filters out, everything will be back to normal. I am also happy that very soon, Unity will be back in the palace. And everyone will enjoy it. <sighs> Look, Amaka. You are a woman like me. And there is this thing that flows when there is peace. Some men might want to come close. But when they think about the stories behind your mother having children for a drunk, it will look like it runs in the family. Ijoma, you made a lot of sense. You know, it worries me how a man will be able to broadcast his wife in such a way. Yes. Do you know, when I go to the market, I see people pointing at me, people gossiping me, but I do not care to know what they are talking about because I know it is either this is a daughter to the drunk or uh, the mother was, was a former queen. It's always the same story. And trust me, I do not care anymore. What concerns me now is how my mother will be put to rest, and that's it. Yamaka. Just pray the result is in you and your brother's favor. <laughs> I don't understand. I should pray. Pray for what? Listen, Ijoma, I don't care. If the result is in our favor, fine. If it's not in our favor, it's okay. Like I said before, what bothers me is how my mother will be put to rest and that is it. <sighs> fine, no problem. But please. Let us forget about everything that has happened in the past and focus on the future. Own name. <laughs> okay. No problem. I'm good. <laughs> so what do I offer you? Nothing. I'll be on my way now. So soon? The king has finally gotten Dr. Richard to conduct the DNA test. Have you heard about it? And I'm not even aware. But when did this happen? Uh, a few weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> a few weeks ago. And the result is out? I uh, don't really know. I don't know because um, I've not been to the palace for quite some time now. But one thing I am sure of, Queen Elizabeth is innocent. You can say that the second time. Oh. Well, I went to the palace and I told the king what he don't want to hear. And he got infuriated. Though I don't care. And since then, my legs have not been there. And for how many years now? And it is now that the beautiful queen is no more that the king decided to do the needful. 
Well, I wish him good luck. Good luck on what basis? On the basis, on the basis that he's now back to his senses. Two, his children will come back to him. Good luck that he has finally ascended to an age-long advice he ignored, listening to his mother. Ichiya Uzoka, hmm? do you know that the king's mother was a twin? Yes, and her twin sister is still alive. A very old woman. And the king refused the twins. A golden-hearted queen born for him. Are you aware of that? Wait. You are telling me that twin is actually in his lineage? Of course. Oh, that means the twins in contention must be the, the, the products of his highly industrious loins. Really? Hey, Zaka, did I have bush meat in my mouth? Why did they reject them in the first place? Why? You can say it even before the king. That means these children are actually the products of his highly industrious loins. So why is he rejecting them? Why did he reject them in the first place? That is the question you need to answer it. It's been two weeks since we did that test and we haven't heard anything about it. Does it really take that long? Amaka, uh, <clears throat> what is the name of that doctor that conducted that test? What is his name again? You mean Dr. Richard? <laughs> Dr. Richard. Amaka, you mean Dr. Richard? Do I look like Dr. Richard? Why are you asking me such questions? What concerns me on it? Obina, do you know you are so annoying? You made me remind you the name of the doctor just for you to say this nonsense. Huh. Amaka, what concerns me in the test? If they like, let that test hold them up to 10 years, 20 years, 100 years. It doesn't concern me. What concerns you there? Amaka? I'm not bothered. Like you said, it doesn't concern us, so I'm not bothered. It's just that normal test takes days, but this one is taking weeks. What are they testing? Amaka, hmm? they are testing human being, not f They are testing to see if the drunk is truly our father. They might even find alcohol in our blood, which will justify their thoughts. So don't let that bother you. Don't let that bother you. May we dare as we deal. Obina, you're not serious. I've always known that you're not a serious human being. <clears throat> don't mind them, Amaka. Don't allow that to worry you. It is only in movie you will see such suspense. Not in reality. This is the doctor I told you that conducted the test. And he is here to give us the outcome. Okay. Doctor, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Is she your daughter too? I don't know her. <laughs> well, you were overseas when uh, I married my beautiful wife. That blessed me with love it. My adorable Adugo. I prefer Adugo. She's beautiful like a mother. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Well, uh, Your Highness, the test I conducted was very bit difficult, but not as much as I expected. Please, uh, Your Majesty, what is the name of the twins? I think they mentioned the names to me, but I've, I've forgotten now. Uh, Charles, please help me. Obinanamaka. 
Do you not have the names on the resort? <laughs> I have the names. I just want to know if the king knows the names. Hey, like I said, my king, the test I conducted was okay. It was good and very straight one indeed. The molecular shoes that King Omenka the fifth of Omona Kingdom is. These twins, they have royal blood. That is to say, you are the father of the children. You can see by yourself. So through the years, Father, all you did was alienate me from my siblings, my blood. Lied to me that my late mother was a cheap whack who got entangled with a village drunk and gave birth to two kids who are not yours. But what do we have today? Staring us in the face. The truth. I flew back to this country and I had a chance to talk to my mother. And I began to say the truth, but it was rather too late. There isn't much I can do about my past father. But there is a lot I can do about my present and my future. If we're gonna know gonna go out call I draw no kangbele Obina Alamaka Aya children and my mom who was still married to you till death because you never took back the bright price you paid on her head is still your wife even in death. So you would agree with me that I should carry on and plan a befitting burial right at the palace cemetery for my mother. Please calm down and hear me out. I want to apologize for removing your mother's portrait from your room. Mm. Please, please. I am very sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know. My heart was so bitter. I don't know what came over me. I am sorry, please. Please. I also want you to fix a date for your mother's burial. I am no longer against her being buried in the palace cemetery. Please. Thirdly, I want you to bring back your siblings to the palace so we can live as one family. They need to be here with us. They belong here. Besides, you are the heir apparent to the throne. Please. If you don't mind, 
I will suggest you speed up your marriage plans with Ijoma. She has the purest of hearts and she will make a good queen. <sighs> Once more, I am sorry. I am deeply sorry. Piko, Okuloka, forgive me. Onam Piko. Please. I'm sorry. Piko Nam Piko. Piko. This will be better. Cause peace is liberty, tranquility. Do not let the behavior of other people to destroy your inner peace. To where so for man. No, no, no. I can help Ah! <laughs> the prince. She agreed to you, sir. Obina! Amaka! Call others! The, the prince is here. Mm. The prince is here. Today I come to love and not to fight. Today I come to celebrate and not to fight. For over time we have fought ourselves, not even knowing where we're coming from or where we're going with this battle. But it gladdens my heart that finally the truth has indeed seen the light of the day. My brothers and my sisters, it makes me happy to call you all my family. I am here for I bring good news from the royal palace of this kingdom. The test result conducted shows that indeed Amaka and Obinna are truly children of my father, the king. And I think that we should celebrate as one big family and stop fighting. Celebration, you said. Charles, did I hear you say celebration? What are we celebrating? Are we to celebrate the fact that Mama was humiliated and thrown out of the palace? Are we to celebrate the fact that Mama was cajoled? What is there to celebrate? Well, it is fine. At least, I am happy. Thanks to God that at least you will not call me son of a drunk again. I thank God for that. But as for celebration, I see nothing to celebrate. I see nothing to celebrate. 
I have been worried about the test result. But thank God the truth has finally been revealed. They said we are products of a drunk. They said after Mama left the palace, she dated a roadside worker who they called a drunk. And I said, I know my mother. I know what my mother can do. I told them, I know the woman that gave back to me. I was ready to swear on behalf of Mama. But thank God, the truth has been revealed. So now, who will tell Mama that she's innocent? Who will console Mama in the mortuary? Who will dance with my mother? Who will wipe away and tears and tell her that Mama, everything is fine now? My prince, what is there to celebrate when the woman that was accused is lying in the mortuary? What is there to celebrate when the woman that was accused cannot stand up and dance in victory? What is there to celebrate when my mother cannot speak? She said it severally, that she was innocent, but nobody listened to her. Nobody. So I ask you again, what is there to celebrate when the market women that mocked her, abused her, cannot look at Elizabeth and say we are sorry? What is there to celebrate when my mother cannot dance in victory? And you talk about celebration? Do you know that each day and night my mother cannot sleep? She cried day and night and prayed to God to be vindicated. Who knows what gave her BP? Who knows? And you talk about celebration? There is no celebration without Elizabeth. There is no celebration without my mother. There is no celebration, my prince. There is no celebration. There is no celebration. We also had this blasphemy. Thank God for today. Who's it going? My name is Nene Fan. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Well, um, Mama's body was deposited in the mortuary at Trust in God Hospital. Well, you can go there when you get there, meet with the mortician. He will release Mama's body to you before you leave. I will give you the receipts. If not for this seizure, <laughs> this truth may have never surfaced. But thank God for everything. Thank God for everything. At last, we have vindicated. At last, Mama is vindicated. Thank God for that. Hey! Mama, you are innocent. Elizabeth, you are innocent. Mama, you are innocent. My mother is innocent. My mother is innocent. Mama's house will go. My mother is innocent. Oh, yes. My mother is innocent. Elizabeth is innocent. Elizabeth is innocent. Tell the old world that Mama is innocent. Hmm. So finally, the king is the biological father of the twins. Hmm. Hmm. 
see eh? do you know that will you believe me if i told you that this thing has been occurring to me for long now mm -hmm. ha. Hmm. i've been seeing this thing since now okay. honestly do you know that i have prophetic tendencies as you see me here my father is aware now why are you laughing mm -hmm. eh? even the king knows but i was just contemplating should i should i not should i should i not i didn't know if i should meet him but now that is true eh? i may just resign oh, because this palace is beginning to scare me. Things happening around me. Yeah. Is it funny? You never see anything. Oh. I beg, since when did Ike now start taking kind kind? Hmm. What was that supposed to be? Prophetic calling. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, prophetic calling. <laughs> Why did you not allow Odumeje and Ko to be taking your place? I beg, shift, Joe. It's not your fault. I'm, I'm happy for this experience. You people know that I've been looking for my dad for years now. <laughs> I never even see photographs of that. Okay. <laughs> Why are you looking for what you don't have? All those your cool girls that you have been doing in the palace. Oh, okay, so yeah. Yeah. A man, grown up man like you, you don't know where your father is. You, are, you, are, you, are, you have said it with your own mouth. You are very, now. very stupid. Mm -hmm. You are mad. Mm -hmm. See, 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 it's your man. <laughs> that we are here to love us together, there's no cough and insult. Don't insult me. And me, if we walk cool. Okay. Can, 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 can you imagine? It's okay, you guys should. This is not what we are talking about. I am happy that the twins are the king's children. And soon they will pack and come. My problem is who will increase my salary. How did you say? You heard me. Do you have sense at all? Yeah? What we are discussing here, what has it got to do with salary? Yeah? The one you've eaten, look at has it has it reflected on your body or same salary? If you point at me again, am I your age mate? See, finish because I'm here with you in this palace. I had a get of pepper. Hey, hey, hey. Do you know how many years I've served here before you came here? Excuse me. More people, more job. We already have the prince and love it alone, and we don't rest. Additional two is an issue. So please, we need to raise our volume on the salary, or I quit. You're too like. Oh, no, no, men are you wrong. What you're saying is true. But you will have to quit alone. Yeah. Have you heard that the incoming prince is a fine man? <laughs> he might even look my way. Yeah. <laughs> and for now, ah, my dear, I give you my blessing, but you have to go alone. Look your side. <laughs> because you are tall. Wait, wait. Tolo, Look at you, then God. I don't know how to face the children that I abandoned at child bed. To them, I am a bad father. Oh. You are a mother, Goseka. Advise me. Your Majesty. The whole problem lies on the fact that the woman is no more. And that is the most painful aspect of this whole issue. The queen was called all sorts of names, especially Sugar West. And she is not like that. Your Majesty, all I think you should do now is to call the twins. Talk to them. Speak to their minds. I think they will understand. They make time to see each other, me too. That will go a long way. There are certain decisions one takes in his lifetime that will certainly turn around to hunt him. Honestly, this is one of them. I don't want... Uh, you can go. Thank you. Okay, Majesty. I did all I could for my sister not to marry the king. Because the king's mother never liked her at all. And it affected her. You people should listen. Especially you, Amaka. 
as a young girl, never have the thought of marrying a man you think you love. Because at the end of the day, the family will get involved. The king's mother tried all she can to frustrate my sister because she couldn't conceive immediately after Charles. She had issues with the king's mother and the king sent her out. And we went there. We couldn't have sent her out simply because um, she has an issue with your mother. She had a mother too. In fact, all of us here have mothers. Oh. Idiot. She has mother too. Yeah, I have mother too. Which mother? Is your mother a queen? Come and take this rotting egg out of this place. And never you bring her here again. Then give me my son. Which son? My son. Royal blood. Is she Are you royalty? Hey, come on, will you walk out of this place? Say, boy, sir! Eh? We shall see. Get up! We shall see. Guy, Come on! Guy, boy! Okay. I took away my sister, having the hope that the king will change his mind and come back. But he didn't. Then, one day, I went to see him. <clears throat> yes, woman. What is it? Why are you here? Since my sister left this palace, you have not been asking about her, her well-being. Are you not aware that she is pregnant for you? Pregnant for who? For you! And she need attention and other things to take care of her and the pregnancy. Ume, you are a madman. A roving madman. So it has gotten to the extent of extorting money from me under the guise of pregnancy. Mm. <laughs> You a thief. Is she not your Sarah! wife? Someone that just left my palace not long ago. You are not telling me she's pregnant. How? How come she's pregnant? Is she not your wife? You stand a better chance of explaining the whole issue. Leave my palace. Listen, I said leave my palace. I have been tolerating you. It's not a sign of weakness, but a sign of maturity. If you walk me up again, you will see the better side of me. Imagine this stupid woman that just conceived for me seven years ago. She just left my palace. I hear you are telling me she's pregnant. Is that not a concocted story? Go and tell that to the beast, not me. And other insults from the king. He refused to come and collect the bright price he paid and was ordering me to bring it to the same palace where he has been insulting me. I refused and the war started. Uncle. Mama already told me all of this. 
So now that it's confirmed that he is our father, what do we do? I know he is your father. My sister confided in me. And I wouldn't doubt her. But Uncle, who is this drunk everybody is talking about? And what does it really have mm. to do with our mother? Um, that is rubbish. That is rubbish. After a few months, she came back and was not doing anything. She came to me one day that she wanted to be busy doing something. And by then, her stomach has protruded. I gave her some money to start the business of selling palm wine and bush meat. Then, she had a lot of customers. One of them was a Ghanaian, who was an engineer and drinks a lot. That is it. But forget that story. Forget that story. Hey. Mm. Hey. Hey. And Charles will call me and be, and, be, and be ranting. Children of the drunk. Children of the drunk. Children of the drunk. And I've been wondering who this drunk was. Love it. Yes, Daddy. This is your sister. Mom Rogochi here is my wife. I married her when your mother left. My children, let me apologize to you on behalf of myself and the royal stool of my forefathers. I am deeply sorry for all that I cost you all through these years. I have felt as a father to you. I allowed emotions to be cloud my sense of reasoning. I listened to gossip and forgot to do what I am supposed to do as a father to you. It is a taboo, I know. I am the custodian of culture. It is a taboo for a royal to stay away from the royal palace for this long. I take the blame. Please, come back home. This place is your home. You belong to this place. Let us allow every discomfort we experience at night to be that of mosquito. We forge ahead. I will do everything within my powers to appease the soul of your mother, my dear wife. Elizabeth, your mother, my dear wife, will be given a full royal burial. She will be buried at the royal cemetery. So please forgive me, my dear children. <coughs> um, Amaka, and Obinna, you've heard your father, the king. Please. He's deeply sorry. In fact, we are sorry. Forgive us. I have my own shortcomings too. But to err is human. And to forgive is divine. Come back to us. You belong here. Let us unite and live as one family. I know it is not easy. Manas no gunye jibido bototwe. Please. We are sorry. And one more time. 
Charles, my prince, please, I am sorry. Forgive me. Um, thank you so much, Your Majesty. I accept your apology. And I also appreciate you for accepting our mother, even in death. But I'm not coming back here. Why now? To be called a prince or royalty. I cannot come back now. I have not been here for many years. So, I'm good where I am. Your Majesty, I stand with my brother on this one. The good thing is, we are no more the children of the drunk. But we'll only return to the palace when we go to the market and the market women say good things about our mother. When they reverse everything they have said against us, then I and my brother will return to the palace. Please agree with me if I tell you that their anger is justified. I mean, I was angry myself um, when my mother was described to be a whack who reduced herself to sleeping with a village drunk and gave birth to a sort of twin. That today, the world knows your children. But um, we are going to rest on that topic for now. As for Amaka and Obin, I can assure you that um, they are my siblings, quite all right. And after the burial, I am going to find the way to their heart, talk to them, convince them, appeal to them to come back home, for this is where they belong. Huh? It's okay, Father. You can, you can rest easy. I have this under control. And to you, my stepmother. We can start all over again. We can be one big, happy family. I say all the time, love is not fantasy. Love is a decision backed by conscious action. I want you to know that I've accepted your apology. What lies? Ahead is greater. Thank you. Going forward, I want you to know that I will never refer to you again as this woman. <laughs> Neither would I ever call you my stepmother. For you are now my mother. And I'd love you like I loved and still love Queen Elizabeth. I love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I am happy about this. The king apologized. 
Yes. This melts my heart. I just wish they could change their mind and come here and reunite with everyone. It would happen. I'll make it possible. They can't stay there forever. That's their mother's father's house. They don't have a say there, but right here, in this palace, their father's home, they have a voice. But now that's a mission I will embark on. After I gave Queen Elizabeth a befitting burial. You're truly a fighter. Am I? I love your fighting spirit. And what exactly? Mothers are supreme. You fought for her even in death. And won. At least your mother will be buried in the palace cemetery. Who could have done that for the Queen? Queen Elizabeth lives on. Ichi Onyema, my queen. So the palace has become the devil's zone that you no longer visit. You've been avoiding the king and I. I contracted you to execute a plan, which you never did. And instead of you to open up and tell me the truth, you started dishing out lies upon lies. Where is my money? Uh, my queen, I, I will come to the palace. It's no longer necessary. I'm here now. Listen. Your title will be taken off you. Because you're not a straightforward person. I, I say I will come and see you in the palace and then I, I, I explain the truth about everything. Please don't be annoyed. I know I have lied to you, and that is why I found it difficult to face you. Forgive me, but, 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 but I, will, I will make it up to you. You will make it up to me, you said. Really? Yes. When you've squandered all the money. Not even a penny to mess family, as I instructed. No, no, as a matter of fact, I try my best to, to convince them to accept the money, but they, they say no, that I should keep it till after the burial. Really? Yes. So where did you keep it? Listen. Transfer my money back to me at once. Else, you will not like me. Trust me. Transfer the money back to her. Has a deity ever returned the sacrifice? I've done my job. Well, it all ended well. The king called me this morning. I was apologizing to me. In fact, if all for go be playing Allah, was apologizing to me. You know, when you tell a man the truth, and he begins to think otherwise, what well, happened then? I stopped going to the palace. Since I stopped going to the palace, what has moved on? Nothing. Nothing has moved on. Even in Anyoko, Okupe. That's it. And uh, by the way, uh, do you know that uh, the queen gave Ichonyema some money? Yes. She gave him some money to make sure that the late queen was not brought to the palace. Olie, ate the money. Ufiam, mochano. I'm just hearing this for the first time. But did he ask her to give him money? For where? <laughs> then he has not committed any offense. The woman just wants to spend her money out of envy and jealousy. Let me tell you, if she had given me the money, I will eat the money and even praise further to make sure that the queen was brought to the palace against her wish. All this vanity ends in this world. Oh, Well, you're right. Uh, anyway, how that one is over. After now, we 
know that uh, uh, the king has two sons and two daughters. Mm -hmm. yeah, on the day of the burial, we go there and pay our last respects. So, yeah. Of course. The date and the day has already been fixed. The next eight market days, we be you understand me? So I need to go. Ah! 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 My love, I'm sorry for everything. Papa, my son. Adam. We are one. Huh? Uh, let us become one in love. Huh? Uh, 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 it's well. Peace will be better. Cause peace is liberty, tranquility. Do not let the behavior of other people to destroy your inner peace. Finally.